Hey everybody, this is Dan here. So today I'm going to talk about one of the few things that I find that is rather uh, annoying when I'm at the course, especially, uh, I think it applies to most of you here. So I go to a golf course, uh, when you start playing, before before you actually play, you actually take a look at your golf ball, right? So for example, you're using like a certain brand, and I know some of them, they use a second-hand brand, but it's... Uh, a mindset that you should actually take out and look at a brand and so on. So I face a lot of people, not just a lot of people, uh, mostly uh, certain people from my group previously that I played with. Okay, so uh, what I noticed that they like to get secondhand balls. Nothing wrong with that, Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But the thing is that they don't even bother to check what's their brand, they don't even mark their ball. It's just a marking from the previous owner that they have. And when the ball flew over, they're just like, okay, let me grab this ball. Or, um, they start hitting it before they even take a look. And they assume it's their ball because it's like white color or yellow color. I, I know that's uh, the only way to identify, but it's basic courtesy to actually identify a ball. And then it's, you're using like a Callaway ball. And you happen to see it's a tailor-made ball. And you still continue to hit. And you're like, oh yeah, it's white. I'm like... Uh, sometimes I ask them, are you sure that's your ball? Then they take a look, I I'm not sure, and then you gotta, you gotta be like, you know, it's my ball, there's a marking, there's my name, and all, you have to mention a brand. So previously, I don't write anything, I don't mark my ball, because I want it to be like, as original as it is, as good looking as it is, because I have reuse it or whatsoever, but probably you wouldn't even want to resell it or whatsoever. So it's good to mark the ball. So nowadays, I do mark my ball. It's also very good for you to identify because you don't want to ruin your game. And it's all those people that doesn't identify the ball, they kind of ruin your game because you don't know how far you hit and then it start hitting your ball and you cannot really uh, learn from that particular lie that your ball lies in. And uh, yeah, it's annoying that they are still ignorance and they're like, oh yeah, why are you hitting my ball and so on. Then that's your ball, man. That's my ball. So, I think it's uh, a way and a courtesy for those who actually are still new to have to prepare the ball beforehand, like a few days ago. So, probably when you go for 18 hole, I would usually prepare like 12 balls just in case. Nowadays, where you improve a bit more, you start to lose lesser balls. It's great like, to have your own marking and prepare like 12 balls. And always bring a permanent marker. Don't be fancy, buy whatever chop and so on. You just need to have a Sharpie or Zebra permanent marker. Just do some writing, write your name or your nickname, short form. So for me, I just use DK. That's all. DK. And maybe I'll add on some stuff there, here and there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, to make the game more fun for everyone, I, I do recommend you to write your own name or mark your ball. Yeah. It's a basic courtesy and it makes the game more fun. Uh, people don't really say it, but I think they will appreciate for what you've done. Definitely, mark your ball. Yeah. Okay, hope this is useful. Do write down in the comments if you have similar experience. And it's like, man, 